Uh, we're going to go ahead and take all the uh, loose data on back into the command box, Charlie. Roger. Apollo 11, Houston, uh, buzzer appears that you uh, attempting to put on the sun filter and uh, viewing the sun through the AOT, over. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like it's down a little bit uh, more towards Lutzex than I can be able to see in the AOT. Roger. I got a beautiful view of the uh, side of the command module out of the AOT looking in the uh, left rear detent. Right. I can see the hatch and all the uh, all the EVA handrails. First time we've seen the uh, silvery outside of the command module. I can read the letters on the uh, hatch cover that say uh, boost cover uh, release and the big yellow arrow that points toward the uh, uh, opening uh, place where the tool B goes. Right. Great shot now, back down into the... And left on me. Go ahead, Buzz, over. Say again. I'm just saying we got a great shot looking and back into the command module. Okay. Yeah, on the left detent, I can see the uh, AO, uh, the uh, rendezvous radar, and when I move to the forward detent, that's about all I've got. I'm looking eyeball to eyeball. Right. Uh, Charlie, is there any concern uh, about the duration that we ought to have the uh, window gates open? Stand by. We don't have any, we don't have any uh, circulation in here and it uh, might get a little on the warm side. Right. We'll, we'll put up a couple of hoses uh, from the command module here and get a little circulation going. Sound like a good idea, Earl.
Apollo 11 Houston, as far as the window shades go, and the Liam, there's nothing except for crew comfort. Uh, I don't think we got any systems problems. Be sure to put them back up when you egress, over. All right, we will do. All right, Charlie, I'll give you a view out of the overhead window back uh, looking at the uh, command module uh, right-hand rendezvous window. Roger. Well, we see it now. Thank you a lot, Buzz. That's a good view through the overhead. One watch run. One watch going by the overhead. Right. There we go, we got it now. Uh, there wasn't very much uh, debris in the command module or the limb. We found very few uh, uh, loose particles of uh, bolts, nuts and screws, and lint and things. Very few in each, uh, each spacecraft. They were very clean. Roger. Sounds good. Eleven Houston, we have a good view out of the rendezvous uh, correction the overhead window of the limb. We don't see anybody staring back at us though, over. Charlie, can you see uh, Mike two eyeballs here on out of the city, uh, rendezvous window? Eleven, Houston, stand by. We haven't picked him up yet. You're looking through a lot of layers of glass. Eleven Houston, uh, uh, we had a we had a slight glimpse of uh, Mike in the rendezvous window at that time. It's pretty murky looking into there though. Okay, here he is. I've got him. I've got him on the monitor now. Right. Okay, we see him staring back at us now. <laughs> Hello in there.
Apollo 11, Houston, our recommendation for the ISA is to stow it back over the instrument panel. Over. Right here, we'll do. Eleven Houston, we can make out the markings on the panel. We've read system A, acid fuel, acid oxidizer, quad one, quad four. The it's really unbelievable the definition we're getting down here off that little camera over. We can even see the barber pole on the dog back. We can read the markings on the instruments uh, for the glycol pressure, quantity, PCO2. You can read the scale on the eight ball, over. Eleven Houston, we see the cross feed uh, barber pole, and we had the Velcro patches back up to the RCS systems. Now we can see the markings on the uh, uh, meters, uh, green and red bands in limits. You raise the cover on the abort stage. We don't recommend that. Yeah, we're going to tape that one over. Right. We're going to tape that one over. We concur. The uh, restraints in here do a pretty good job of pulling my pants down. Roger. We haven't quite got that before the 50 million TV audience yet. Al uh, Levin, you said that's a good view of the eight ball. We see you can even read the off flag there. See the signal strength meter for the radar, read the numbers on it. Uh, Houston, uh, did you want us to uh, test the cameras? in the LEM, and uh, I was wondering about that. I saw it in the flight plan, but uh, I'm just wondering if you want to do that on uh, CSM power, or do you want us to take uh, both of the 16 millimeter cameras back into CSM and uh, test them there, over? Stand by, bus. 
As an alternative to that, why we could wait until uh, LOI day and uh, there's that uh, word again, ancillary stowage container. Right. Well, the shades didn't quite hack it there, Buzz. Over. Getting high bit rate off the Omnis at this distance. Stand by, Mike. Apollo 11, Houston, about 50% of the time we're getting high bit rate off the Omnis when you're in PTC, over. Okay, thank you. Apollo 11, Houston, Neil, at this at attitude, you look like you're about 12 feet long. It seems like I always find myself upside down and whatever I'm doing around here. Apollo 11, Houston, could you give us a few comments on your crew comfort with the CSM hoses uh, moving the air around over? Well, it's picking up a little bit of circulation in here. What do you estimate the temperature is, Buzz, over?
it's, it's a little weekend. warmer or stuffier when we first got in, but uh, it seems to be improving. Houston copies out. You may be able to see uh, some, Go ahead. Some, some particles jumping around on your screen. That's uh, just uh, dust particles that are being eliminated by sun shafting in the window. Roger, they're very clear now. Over. And that's a good view of uh, Neil's uh, correction of Buzz's uh, circuit breaker panel there. I can uh, just barely see the uh, handrail on the front porch from uh, the position on the uh, right-hand window. Roger. Eleven, Houston, our view of the, the panel eleven uh, is uh, gets brighter than darker, or are you uh, changing the f-stop at all, over? Now what's happening is uh, we get pretty close to the window now and then, and it, uh, it drives the automatic light control uh, into the stops, I think. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, I had to switch on outside while I was going through the uh, overhead window. That may uh, be what's contributing to some of it. Roger. Levin Houston, we seem to be picking up a few bit more dust particles now. We see them um, quite clearly in the uh, screen now, over. Yeah, I'm choking on one every so often. Eleven Houston, uh, your show is going out to the U.S. now. We're about to get the satellite up. It'll be transmitted uh, to some other countries after that. Over. Roger. I'm uh, checking out this window bracket uh, where I'll be putting it for the uh, EVA uh, pictures of Neil going down the ladder. Roger. Oh, 
9-11 used to, we keep marveling about the color and the clarity of the picture. Uh, it's really difficult to describe. It's, uh, it's just perfect, over. Nine eleven doesn't look like you're having too much trouble with that bracket up there, Buzz. I tell you, those uh, new knobs really uh, make it easy to twist the thing and uh, get it uh, cinched down quite tight. Right. Eleven, uh, Houston, Buzz, how does the alignment look there? Looks pretty good, as well as I can tell, without the gear extended. I can't uh, uh, get a real definitive answer, but uh, you couldn't fix it to any place to see uh, much more out of the window without uh, hand-holding it for the whole time. Roger, it looks like to us it's going to work real well. Enough room to, uh, yeah, I think so. Buzz, we see you putting your window guard in place there, and uh, back up to the ISA now. Uh, Houston, ask FAO if the 90 degree bracket isn't stowed in the uh, commander's uh, stowage assembly. Stand by.
11, Houston, uh, Buzz, uh, you still looking for that 90 degree bracket, over? Yeah, he is looking for it now. Roger, we'll have a word for you in just a moment. 